welcome back or to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other upcoming videos. If you are returning, hey Shook Muffin. All right, y'all, so I have another synthetic wig review for you today. So last week, I reviewed two of Altre's newest units from their Melted Hairline collection. Um, that was Harper and Seraphine, or Seraphine. Since Altre came out with these new units, and they are like killing the game right now, I was like, let me look on my shelf, because I have a ton of unreviewed wigs that I'm sure I can review right now. So I saw this one, which is also a part of the Melted Hairline collection. This is in the style Sabrina and in the color DRFF Chocolate Truffle. So I was like, let me pull one that I already have. <laughs> and I have had this unit since March. I know, shame on me. I know, I already know. You ain't gotta tell me. I know. So I wanted to pull her off the shelf. Go ahead and review her since Altre is hot and heavy with this Melted Hairline collection. And then I just kind of wanted to compare where they were then versus where they are now. So some of the specs of this one back then um, included baby hairs, soft Swiss lace, a pre-attached wide elastic band, and frontal effect hairline. I think it has pretty much the same specs as before. I think the only difference that I'm noticing is that this one has a pre-attached Y elastic band and the newer ones just have a pre-attached elastic band. It's not Y at all. They're both a little flimsy to me, but we'll get into that a little more. So let's go ahead and dive right into this review. DRFF Chocolate Truffle. I don't think I've ever reviewed this color before, but I absolutely love it. Now it does look like some of the other ones, like the Hazelnut and maybe, um, there's another name I've been seeing. God, I can't even think of it. It's a chocolate something else. But anyway, I feel like it looks similar to some of the other ones, but it's beautiful nonetheless. I do love this color. Um, I did use a few of the baby hairs. I don't think that I used their baby hairs. I might have cut them off when I cut off the lace. I just kind of created some of my own and just did a few little swoops. The elastic band, this one is wider than um, Harper and Seraphine that I just recently reviewed. So it is a little more comfortable. 
I think that they need to go back to the wider band um, because of the other one or the newer one is just really thin and flimsy. So go back to the wider band, Outre. That was a good call. She even came down ear to ear. Um, now I did not glue her down, even though this is the melted hairline. I was like, let me see what I can do without gluing her down. Cause quite frankly, I'm tired of gluing down. I ain't even gonna lie y'all. I am tired of gluing down these wigs. Headband wigs have spoiled me. Like I just want to throw it on and get out the door. I don't want to glue it down no more. <laughs> I'm over it. So I did not glue her down. I just tried to make her appear as melted as possible. And I think I did a pretty good job. I'm not gonna lie y'all like this little... Oh my gosh, this cream foundation from Kiss out the beauty supply store is like my new best friend. My new best friend. And I have it in rich mahogany. Now, don't get me wrong. I have used some tint sprays and I've even used the even tint spray. The problem I have with that is... You know, like the color is just always off. So I was using the dark brown. And then I was like, every time I would look at my videos, it just appeared off. And so then I switched to the medium brown. And this was a little better. It really is a little better than this dark brown. But it was just that, you know, it just wasn't that perfect blend. I feel like with using this, like this was just a match made in heaven for me so this will be used from now on i am getting rid of this even tint spray this is it for me i do feel like they improved on the hairline like the hairline is decent and you saw me go in and pluck it some more because like at first sight it was just okay um I think they definitely improved a whole lot with the newer units in the Melted Hairline Collection. I mean, a whole lot. I absolutely loved the hairline on Harper and Seraphine. Like, they got it right. They improved. Thank you for listening, Altre. You listened, and you went back in that lab, and you did the dang thing. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about this style. I feel like this style has potential. It's just too much work involved in that potential <laughs> that I don't want to deal with. So with that, it doesn't make it beginner friendly. Like, out the package? No. No. I don't like when the curls are just coming at my neck. It was like this. And then they were going all over the place. So I had to go in with my flat iron and just kind of straighten it out a little bit because it just wasn't working for my liking. Yeah, that was just, it was a little more work than I wanted to do. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. A little more work than I wanted. But it has potential. Like this little uh, swoop bang action we got. Love it. Definitely love a good swoop bang. And you get a little feathered back over here on this side as well. It's just down here on this bottom that you just kind of got to straighten out or you just take it or leave it as is. <laughs> now, I do feel like this is giving me like um, boss chick office vibes. Like I'm the boss at work. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. Like this is definitely, you know, office vibe, conference room ready. <laughs> I'm in charge here. That's what I'm getting from this. But it is just one of those styles that's a little more professional in my opinion or maybe a little smitching mom like although i am a mom but you know it's not a whole lot of sex appeal going on in my opinion it's cute now she's cute just not in my sexy category that's all the texture is definitely light silky i don't think it's a whole lot of yak going on in here at all maybe a smitching maybe a teeny bit but it's definitely more silky than yak However, the luster is very nice. I don't think that it's like super shiny or anything like that. And if you do think it's like too shiny, of course, dry shampoo is your best friend. Just go in with some of that. Now, I have not experienced a lot of tangling with this unit. However, she is shedding. And it could be human error. I mean, I did go in and pluck some more of the hairline. 
Um, I kind of cut away, I think I accidentally cut away some of the baby hairs. So it could be human error, but she's definitely shedding and moderate to heavily. No tangling though. I feel like they definitely improved on the parting space. This parting space was really tight and really dark. And I feel like I made her come alive a little bit and made her look a little more natural. But yeah, I had to put in a little foundation work. I had to really add some foundation powder to this parting space to make it look that way. But it was a little tight and a little dark. All right, so let's talk about the price. The price of this wig ranges anywhere from $33 to $44. Of course, that depends on the site that you choose to get her as well as the color that you choose. I will, as usual, leave a shopping link down in the description box below of various options. So overall, I feel like Altre definitely made some pretty major adjustments, especially when it comes to the hairline and the style of these units. Well, maybe not so much the style because the styles are a little hit and miss for the newer versions also. <laughs> it's just based on preference, really. I feel like this one has a lot of good density. Not a lot, but I feel like it's decent density for this, you know, nice long bob. Whereas some of the newer units, or at least specifically Seraphin or Fiend, um, the density was a little, not a little, it was way too light for my liking. It was just like no density at all. So that good balance will help a little bit. They're definitely always consistent with the hair color. So the hair colors that are available for this one are just as pretty as they are with the newer units. But Altre always gets it right with the colors. So I can't even, like they get it right. Thank you, Altre. So that's really all that I have. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you have made it this far in the video, please be sure to leave me a nice little chocolate bar emoji right here down in the comment section below. And if you're on the laptop and you can't use an emoji, just say insert chocolate bar here or something. <laughs> just so I know that you have made it to the end of this video because I truly, truly, truly appreciate you for that. And for that, let me give a huge shout out. I'm going to try to do this for every video or at least most of my videos, but I definitely want to give a shout out in this video to none other than love yourself for always rocking with me, always right here in the comments, always watching from beginning to end. Love yourself. You're the real MVP, girl. You are the real MVP. I appreciate you. As soon as I upload a video, you are right there commenting and you always watch from beginning to end. Love, love, love you for that. And not only me, but I see you supporting everybody. Like you are a true MVP. You are a true supporter. Thank you. Love yourself. So I just had to shout you out. If you're not already, be sure to also follow me on Instagram at Miss Ebony V because I usually post every time I upload a video there as well. I thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as usual. Please be sure to thumbs up this video. Hit that subscribe button if you have not and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye y'all!